My name is Chris McLaughlin, and I graduated uh, class 296. Okay. Uh, Chris, what was life like before the MCA? Uh, I had some trouble. I was uh, uh, having trouble in school. Uh, I wasn't, uh, I was getting along with my peers just fine, but uh, my teachers had pretty much given up on me. Um, I was having trouble at home, and things just weren't getting any better. Okay. Um, how's it been different after the MCA? Well, the MCA provided me with uh, a lot of uh, skills and experiences that uh, helped me get past that, as well as the uh, opportunities uh, for you know graduating school and uh, being able to uh, uh, interact and, and repair some of the relationships that I had. Okay. Um, so how a little bit more? How did your life change because of the MCA? Uh, it, it, Gave me a lot of uh, skills and experiences, abilities that I didn't have prior to uh, prior to coming to the MCA. Uh, it gave me a lot of uh, uh, job skills, uh, experience with Habitat for Humanity and uh, other community service organizations. Uh, it really helped kind of uh, expand my horizons. Okay. Um, would you recommend Challenge to a team? Absolutely. Okay. Why would you recommend it? I really think that uh, challenge is uh, has a place for everybody. Uh, I think that uh, it's it's much more than a than an at risk youth program. I think that uh, uh, everyone learns differently, and I think that the public school system doesn't always have all of the key features for everybody. But everyone's expected to fall in line the same way. Okay. Um, what is your fondest memory of the MCA? That's tough. Um, I think that uh, going out on, on, on you know, different experiences, field training exercises, uh, uh, community service projects, uh, even the trip to uh, Washington, D.C. I've been to D.C. many, many times as a kid and as an adult, but I got to see a side of, of D.C. that uh, I wouldn't have been exposed to had I not uh, traveled there with the MCA. Okay, what did you learn at the MCA that you use in everyday life? Uh, let's see. Um, discipline. Get up on time. Get to work on time. Look the way you should. Uh, look professional. Uh, really, uh, self-presentation, I think, would sum it up. Okay. Um, structure and discipline are obviously a big part of the MCA. Uh, can you share a memory about that? Um, I, I do remember standing outside um, in the middle of the night. Uh, at attention for quite some time um, and uh, that, I guess that really helped me learn what we're willing to tolerate is far different than what we can so uh, I guess you know even standing out there in the cold for hours at a time uh, you really learned what you were made of and what you're capable of okay uh, tell me about your favorite staff member Well, uh, I, I have very distinct memories of Mr. Washington. Uh, he uh, was by far the most vocal of the, of the cadre when I was here. Um, he was also, it seemed to be the first to rise and last to leave. So uh, I, I think I had a, a, a great appreciation for him. Um, can you tell me about life in the barracks? you remember that far back? I do. I have a lot of memories of barracks. Um, it was interesting. You, you, you had to learn to live with people in very close proximity. Um, a lot of the times that was with people that weren't very easy to get along with. But uh, at the same time, we all learned at the same pace how to get along or to, uh, <laughs> or, or to show that we just weren't capable. Um, there, were, uh, there were fun and games. Got us in trouble. Uh, there was, there was, uh, you know, a lot of late nights, a lot of cleaning, um, but uh, some of my closest friends from here came came through that. Okay, um, how did you find out about the MCA? Um, through the grapevine, I guess. Just uh, I heard a few rumors, and then uh, I, I really wasn't. Uh, I wasn't able to progress any further in high school. My teachers had pretty much given up on me based on my, uh, my reputation alone. 
no matter how hard I tried to fix it, it, it wasn't getting any better. Um, so I made a judgment call. I came up here, checked it out, and uh, I, I saw it as a way to wipe the slate clean and start again. Okay. Any final thoughts? Uh, really, I would, I would recommend this program to anyone who is having trouble uh, coping in high school. Um, it's not just for people who are in trouble. It's not just for uh, people who have uh, trouble with uh, uh, learning or social skills. It's really, it, it, this is a place where people who have trouble learning in a traditional standard environment can really, uh, can really blossom by coming to a place that, uh, that changes the way things are done and that provides them opportunities in a different kind of setting. Okay. All right, thank you.